Welcome to the Radiation Therapy Center at the National University Cancer Institute, Singapore, ENSYS. In this video, we will take you step by step through the entire process of radiation therapy and hopefully make the journey a more pleasant one for you and your loved ones. There are many available treatments for cancer. Radiation therapy is one form of treatment patients can undergo. Up to half of all cancer patients receive radiation therapy sometime in their cancer journey. It uses precisely calculated doses of high-energy radiation to damage or destroy cancer cells. Radiation treatment can be a very effective cancer treatment. However, we need to be very careful so that we will hit the cancer cells as hard as possible without harming the normal cells. The number of sessions and the type of radiation therapy depends on the tumor types and locations. Here at ENSYS, we deliver radiation treatment using the following methods. External beam radiation therapy, which uses an external machine to direct radiation at the cancer cells. Or internal radiation therapy, also known as brachytherapy, which places a sealed radioactive source inside the body, near the tumor. Before undergoing the treatment, there are a few things you should take note of. A course of radiation treatment can involve single or multiple sessions. Each session takes about 15 to 30 minutes. The treatment is generally painless. Most patients receive their treatment in an outpatient setting. Here is an overview of your journey at the Radiation Therapy Center. During each phase of your journey, it is important that you are punctual for your appointments as certain procedures require adequate time for preparation. On your first visit, proceed to the front counter at level 8 of the medical center for registration. Please bring along your IC or passport and any supporting documents. Collect your queue number and wait for it to be displayed on the screens at the main waiting area. When your queue number is displayed, kindly proceed to the triage room for assessment. During your consultation, you will be seen by a radiation oncologist who is a doctor specializing in radiation treatment. He will review your medical history and discuss treatment options available, as well as the potential short-term and long-term side effects. Sometimes, further investigations may be required before a decision to embark on radiation therapy can be made. Do discuss with your oncologist if you have concerns about the costs involved, the duration of the treatments, and the management of potential side effects. If you have decided to undergo radiation treatment, you will be given financial counseling by a patient service associate on financial schemes available. Towards the end of your first visit, a nurse will speak with you on care management during treatment. He or she will also briefly explain the CT simulation and treatment process so as to better prepare you. Before you leave, your appointment days for both will be scheduled. Should you have any further concerns at this stage, do discuss them with your nurse. A CT simulation is a special type of CT scan that we use to customize your radiation treatment according to your specific needs. Most patients will need this scan before starting their treatments. Typically, a CT simulation will take 30 to 60 minutes depending on how complex it is. This includes the time required for preparing and positioning the patients. A radiation therapist is a person specialized in the delivery of radiation treatment. He or she will brief you about the procedure before providing you with a gown to change into. You may need to remove items such as necklaces, earrings and other jewelry that may be in the area being scanned. The scan is done in the position that we will treat you in. In some cases, 
we may need to make a customized mask or cushion to keep you in an optimal position. In addition, three small permanent reference marks may be placed on the body. These help us to deliver treatment to the same position every day. Inform your therapist if you face any discomfort or are unable to maintain the required position. You will be monitored from a control room during your scan. Your images from the CT simulation are sent to our planning room where our planners, therapists and doctors design the best way to treat the tumour. At this crucial planning stage, we will identify the tumour which requires high radiation dose as well as the critical organs that need to be avoided. Depending on the complexity of the cancer, this process may take from several days to several weeks before treatment can be started. Our therapists work closely with the oncologist to design a treatment plan that best delivers radiation to the tumour while minimizing the dose to the surrounding normal tissues and organs. After the plan is finalized, it undergoes several layers of checks to ensure optimal treatment, safety and accuracy. Most patients come for daily treatment from Mondays to Fridays. A schedule will be provided to inform you of your treatment times. Before treatment begins, the radiation therapist will position you exactly as you were during the CT simulation. You will then be alone in the room, but you will be monitored via a CCTV from the control area. During the course of treatment, you will be scheduled for weekly reviews with your oncologist. They will manage your side effects by providing appropriate medication and advice. If necessary, weekly consultations with our in-house dietitian can be arranged. Upon completing the course of radiation treatment, you will be given a follow-up appointment. This may sometimes involve additional examinations like CT scans, MRI or blood tests. You may or may not encounter some side effects after your treatment. These include tiredness or fatigue, aches and swelling over the treatment area, Skin at the treatment area may become red, dry, flaky and itchy. Here are some ways you can better manage your side effects. Eat sufficiently to maintain your weight. Your body needs more calories during the treatment, so you may need to take small frequent meals. Drink sufficient fluids that are high in calories, such as shakes or nutritional supplements. You may approach our staff to learn more about these supplements. If necessary, a dietitian from the hospital can help you to set up a nutritional program. Skin-related side effects usually take four to six weeks to recover after completion of treatment. Before, during and after treatment, do not use soap, talcum powder or deodorant on the treatment area. Do not place hot or cold packs on the treatment area. Do not expose the treatment area to direct sunlight. Do not apply lotions and ointments before treatment. Your skin may continue to be sensitive to the sun, so you may need to use additional sun protection on and around the treatment area. Wear loose-fitting clothing to reduce skin abrasion. You may consult your oncologist for advice on gentle moisturizing creams should your skin feel dry or sensitive during or after treatment. If you have had radiation treatment to the mouth, it is essential that you inform your dentist each time you go for a dental checkup. Get plenty of rest. You can resume your regular activities as long as you have adequate rest and do not overexert yourself. Sleep at least 8 hours daily and take naps during the day if you need to. Fatigue is a common side effect which will ease when your course of treatment is completed. You will need to inform your radiation oncologist or nurse if you are taking any prescription or over-the-counter medication and other supplements. The oncologist will review all current medication. 
ENSYS, there are several support groups that you can join. These platforms allow patients, caregivers and survivors to interact with each other, sharing experiences, advice and encouragement. For more information on specific support groups, please visit www.ensys.com.sg Thank you for watching this video. We hope you and your loved ones are more informed about the radiation therapy treatment process at ENSYS.